What is up, everybody? Hope you guys have had a wonderful day today. I know it's been about 100 degrees, it feels like here. What time is it? 5.30 and it's still 91 degrees outside. Colorado gets over 300 days of sunshine a year, which sucks. I so badly want to move to uh, the upper northwest. Uh, Oregon, Seattle, it's, it's calling my name. Even then I had bad luck. I went tuna fishing up in Lincoln, Oregon, I believe it was. And during the time I went, it was one of their uh, their hottest uh, heat waves in like decades. <laughs> so I'm like, oh my God, this sun just follows me around everywhere I go. I just want it to be cloudy, overcast all the time. That brings out the happiness in me. Uh, in saying that, I think that's also why I've been on this trip lately of watching scary videos because it takes a lot for me to get freaked out. The only time I remember kind of being on edge twice, well, actually twice, was the first time I seen the Blair Witch Project. Now, for those of you guys who know what it is now, you know, okay, it's kind of corny and cheesy whatever but they really it, it, like I remember sitting at work and all of a sudden you know I was always looking at this uh, website this was far before YouTube and you know all these ghost hunting channels and there was this website that would pop up on one of the few uh, channels that had ghost pictures and stories and all that and it was called Shadowlands ghost page and then all of a sudden from there it led to a link of, uh, you know, all these people missing in, you know, uh, Massachusetts. And they advertised it like if it were a real event that was taking place. And so the three actors, you know, they, of course, you know, they were in on it, but they didn't know exactly what they were being set up to do. And so, like, some of it is their natural reactions, like when, uh, you know, spoiler alert, but when uh, you hear the kids outside and they're in the tent and they start shaking the tent, like they weren't, they were asleep and they didn't know that was going to be happening. But that movie, for some reason, just freaked me out because I thought it was completely real. I thought these people really, like it was, I thought it was really honest, you know, to God lost film footage and <laughs> I was like what 17 18 years old I remember having the light on that night in the closet while I slept <laughs> that was pretty pathetic the second time was uh you know we had always heard this is me and my former friend uh, we had always heard, you know, how scary the Bla or not Blair Witch, um, the Exorcist was, and you know we used to battle a lot on PlayStation Two, you know, on Madden, and we we're like, well, let's go rent, you know, the Exorcist and see what this, you know, see what it's like, and we both used to smoke cigarettes at the time, and like the whole room <laughs> was just like, I mean, engulfed in cigarette smoke because we were just like so like on the edge of our seats that we were just puffing away so those are the only two movies that have ever really gotten to me a lot of the crap i see online it it's i i i know stephen hawking hawking's a much smarter person than i'll ever be but i don't agree i i don't know what to think about the multiverse theory it it sounds so far fetched in a sense because to einstein and they proved it time is relative i also don't find that to be agreeable either because time ceases to act differently away from earth but it acts the same biologically with you. I don't know. I don't want to get too deep into it. And I know people who are much smarter. Like I said, I know some physics, but I just don't agree with the whole multiverse 
theory. Like I, I'm kind of like 25 percent, 75, 25 to 75 percent. You know, I'm leaning on the 25 percent. Like, okay, could there be? I I don't know. Like they said, supposedly the James Webb Telescope had caught glimpses of something to prove that you know it's it's true i don't know how it could have done that but there have been stories dating back years ago i could go on and on about this about the stories that i've heard and you know i've actually done a lot of reading up on this uh about the multiverse theory and listening to uh you know uh, physicists talk about it um elon musk is one proponent of it really believing that it's you know 100 percent true i i just don't i don't i don't see a carbon copy of myself in another plane of existence at the same time doing the same thing but differently having made a different choice than what i made today which before it was you know the matrix came out now, back then, it was called, you know, like the butterfly effect. Now it's a glitch, a, you know, a glitch in the matrix is, you know, how everybody refers to it. But it used to be butterfly effect, you know. I, I don't know. I just don't get it. And the reason why I'm mentioning that is, is because there's so many of these videos on ghosts, on demons, on, you know, uh, demonology that they say oh you know could this be a glitch in the matrix i i call like bs i'm like eh, i don't think so i don't you know <sighs> there there's some that just kind of make you scratch your head like you know is that real but i don't know i i really don't know so i've been on the search for some scary videos and i've seen one of my uh uh favorite uh, I my three favorite scary video content creators are uh, Nukes, Top Five, Slapped Ham. Except I hate the way he ends his videos. Like his videos are so good, and then he ends it like real cheesy. And I don't know three. It's either Sir Spooks who sometimes he just uploads or re-uploads like old stuff or stuff that people have done or chills. But he relies too much on that voice that he does. Like, he's really into that voice. And it, it kind of, like, wears thin after a while. But this is the first time I'm watching a new one that came out today. Um, creepy, creepy videos that should uh, come with the warning. Uh, released uh, August 30th. Today's August 30th, right? Thought I seen it, say, five hours ago. Yep. August 30th so um, yeah so let's see how uh, this one is it's 19 minutes long uh, so hopefully we'll get a fright out of it one thing I wanted to add so I don't know if you guys ever watch Ghost Hunters with Zach Baggins and all those guys but I'll tell you what these Middle Eastern guys have the biggest cojones when it comes to ghost hunting because they will actually run after these ghosts or if something crazy is happening. They'll run towards it almost like the motto of like, you know, firefighters, like, you know, they're running towards the fire and not away where I will never forget how the hell did they get a TV show when what they're searching for, you know, he acts like a tough guy talking shit to ghosts. And when something manifests, uh, their very first video, and you guys can go check it out, uh, when they're doing this uh, uh, ghost hunt at this Nevada hotel that used to be like a brothel and had like a lot of deaths in it and everything. But this brick levitates and goes like at an arch and pieces of wood fall over and you could tell like it was something paranormal or either they were having you know 
they were being tricked by someone. But I mean, he cried and yelled like a little girl, like run, but like higher than what I can make my voice go. And how they ended up getting their own show, I have no idea. But if they end up showing these guys from the Middle East, uh, they're constantly praying throughout. And if they see something, they just dart off to it. Like, uh, they believe they're, you know, what we would call demons. What they believe in are called jinn, J-I-N-N. And they're evil, demonic entities that were left here on Earth that did bad, you know, and cruel acts. Um, and, yeah, they, they have no hesitation to go after it. So I applaud them. Uh, I have yet to see another ghost group anywhere. Oh, there's this, also this Russian kid who, man, like, goes through some serious shit, and he sticks it out. I have yet to see any Americans that do ghost hunting that have the cojones to stick around. Even some Mexican guys who will stick around and, like, you know, find out what happened. But I've never seen any of them, like the Arab guys and that Russian kid. I mean, they're off the charts. So if they show up in the video, you'll see what I'm talking about. I don't think that thing is moving. How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking at some mysterious things caught on camera. But as always, before we dive in, remember to hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. Just like this. The thought of having a poltergeist in your home is terrifying. Although it's said that poltergeists aren't always violent, these spirits can still supposedly torment their victims by making noises and moving objects. YouTuber Sylvia C began noticing strange occurrences in her home after playing with a Ouija board at her kitchen table. Nope. She claims that her channel documents some of the activity that has since occurred. In this clip, it's fairly obvious that whatever is present wants to make itself known. I have to put the camera on this part of activity tonight in the kitchen. Keep an eye on the cupboard door. It swings open, then shuts. Next, watch what happens when the woman asks, do you want me out of your house? Do you want me out of this house or do you want me to stay? The presence appears to answer by moving a can on the kitchen counter. The poster explains that this kind of thing happens in her kitchen all the time. This is evidenced in the next clip which shows the poster hiding behind a partition while pointing the camera towards the sink. Oh my god. See, and that's almost kind of uh, giving it recognition. I remember when I went on my first ghost hunt, I organized it with my friends and I was actually the first one to bitch out because I was scared. <laughs> but I organized it and you know, you when you start looking for it, or say you're doing, you know, divination, like you know, using uh, uh, the rods. I yeah. is it divination rods? Uh, you know, I tried the Ouija board with my best former best friend's mom, uh, where she's like, "Okay, we're only calling on good spirits now." But you know, I was always told as a kid, you know, never play with that shit. And I just was curious and it, it 100% worked. I was like, just shocked. I mean, and he, I have a long story about what he experienced, what my family experienced uh, with him uh, and a priest. I mean, you know, we're watching The Exorcist and about a few years later, something very close like that happened to him. And I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll ask, you know, if you guys are ever curious to know, just, you know, feel free to ask away. I was on uh, Coast to Coast AM and had a chance to talk with uh, Art Bell. And I told him about the story and he was, yeah, he was shocked and surprised at, you know, the occurrences that happened in his in that house 
So, yeah, it was a crazy story. You can see a spoon and four moving by themselves. Oh my god. She shows the area beneath the counter to demonstrate there are no magnets or strings. There's nothing. I'm not faking this. Look, there's nobody under there. There's nobody under the counter or under the fridge. There's no magnets or anything like that. No strings. That's been moved itself. The woman's voice clearly sounds distressed throughout the footage. Oh my god, the that spoon's moving. Oh my god, did you see that? Oh my Oh, that knife's, the knife's moving now. So would you try and communicate with a poltergeist? Or would you just pack your bags and leave? The pot isn't moving again. Well, it's official. Thanks to today's sponsor, Established Tool. How would they land it? You could become a like the pristine one. He's made a title pack. A huge like the slash skip. YouTuber Dark Ghost Paranormal explores places that most people would never dare. As this clip begins, he explains that he was sent the coordinates to this house in the mail. Him. This is a Russian guy who, uh, Russian kid who, yeah, he, he's, he, dude is brave. The sender claimed that elderly people used to live there and that they were plagued by strange activity, especially in the basement. The residents supposedly heard unusual sounds, disembodied conversations, and even saw doors opening by themselves throughout the home. After the owners passed away, the house was left to relatives. However, they never moved in, and it's remained empty ever since. In the video, we see the investigator thoroughly exploring the space with a flashlight as he sets up some cameras to record in the background. is when things start to get a little creepy. A piece of glass slides off the counter and shatters on the floor. Then the entire room starts to rumble and shake, tossing other objects around. It doesn't appear to be an earthquake because it doesn't affect the rest of the house. Jesus Christ, hope it caused something like that to happen. Next, the investigator uses a device in an attempt to contact any resident spirits. Eerily, he receives a message telling him to open the basement. Bravely, or perhaps stupidly, he decides to do it. He opens the hatch and ventures cautiously into the darkness. Suddenly, something catches him off guard. Take a listen. It sounds like an eerie screech. Unwilling to find out who or what made the noise, he wisely leaves the basement. However, it seems that his curiosity soon gets the better of him and he lowers himself through the trapdoor one more time. Oh, he goes sure enough, the same spine-chilling sound emanates out of the darkness. 
This time he doesn't hesitate. He quickly packs his equipment and leaves the property. While hanging out at a friend's house, Redditor Peppermint the Fox caught something strange on camera. Take a look. The large white object is a propane tank. There's also something else right next to it. At first, it's hard to make out what exactly it could be. It looks like it might be part of the tank, but if you zoom in, you can see that the foggy shape appears to have a head perched on top of a large frame. It even has two sparkling eyes that are looking off to the side. Many viewers thought the figure resembled a gorilla, while others suggested it might be a human attempting to steal propane from the tank. The original poster added that the figure vanished right after the photo was taken, and upon further inspection, they could see no footprints or signs of any kind that the figure was even there. So is this photo proof of a mysterious cryptid roaming the area, or is it something else entirely, perhaps pareidolia? Take another look at the image and let me know what your theories are in the comments down below. Abandoned places often have complex histories and the dilapidated building seen in this video is no exception. Many people have reported strange incidents here, it's even thought that one individual committed suicide in a downstairs room. YouTuber Mysterio JL decides to investigate the premises for himself. As he enters the first room, he and his partner hear footsteps. Oi. They dissipate as the men walk closer, but can be heard once again as the men turn away. That's when they discover the word Nino, which means little boy in Spanish, written on the wall. Child. The investigators decide to continue their exploration of the property. As something grabs their attention, the camera holder inadvertently captures something unnerving on camera. A mysterious figure can be seen in the top right window. At first, it's almost impossible to see. However, if you brighten the footage, it becomes more obvious. That's crazy. Next, they head upstairs. As they make their way along a dark, dilapidated hallway, a chilling sound echoes through the space. According to the uploader, the voice says Mama in Spanish. Not long after, the investigators catch a second sighting of the mysterious figure they saw earlier. Again, the footage right. needs to be brightened up, right but there. as before, there's definitely something there. Is this just a squatter who's taken up residence in the crumbling building? Or could it be the spirit of a child that's calling out for their mama? Oi. <sighs> 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 
Are we alone in the universe? UFO sightings have been recorded across the globe for centuries. This video, uploaded to YouTube by Arslan Warwick, is supposedly the longest ever UFO recording made by a civilian. Take a look. Made by a civilian, so what, the uh, government has some that are much, much longer? The camera holder notes that the orb-like object is difficult to see with the naked eye. Very hard to see with the naked eye now. The sun has set. It's practically almost dark now. Luckily, he has an excellent camera with a powerful zoom. 9x, this is what iPhone's maximum zoom is. I don't think that thing is moving. After some time, it appears as though it's actually hovering in place. It's just sitting there. If it was just a kite, which has been suggested, it would move more noticeably in the wind. This thing has been here for the past mm -hmm. one hour, as I said before. It's just here. At the very end of the recording, there are several still images of the object. Here we can see that it has a distinctive dome shape, unlike any man-made craft. Many viewers have praised the camera holder for their high quality video work. Usually UFO footage is grainy and out of focus, making it difficult to get a good look at the actual object. Several viewers also mentioned that they too have seen similar objects in the sky recently. Have you ever witnessed a UFO? If so, let us know your experience in the comments down below. This next video, posted to TikTok by Scary Central, isn't supernatural at all, yet it'll likely leave you unnerved. As the clip begins, the camera's focused on a patch of dirt or sand. There's not much to see until a paintbrush comes into view and begins to gently tap at the dirt. Take a look at what happens next. If you're not a fan of creepy crawlies, you've probably turned away. If you haven't, however, you've noticed how big the spider is compared to the paintbrush. This is supposedly a Sicaria spider, a type of arachnid that buries itself in the sand and waits to surprise its prey. The name in Latin means assassin and its bite can be seriously dangerous to humans. Of Just think next time you go outside, this little guy could be right next to your foot and you wouldn't even know. Before we take a look at a strange little clip of unknown origins, remember to hit that subscribe button then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be notified every time we drop our scary and creepy videos. There's very little information available on this next video. It was uploaded to TikTok by Scary Central, but its origins are unknown. It shows a woman chatting on her cell phone as she walks by. She stops momentarily to say something to the camera holder, oblivious to the fact that there might be danger in the vicinity. Take a look at what happens next. A creepy figure appears behind her. It lurches out of the darkness, reaching towards the unsuspecting woman. Oh, the camera holder does see it, however. Panicked, they don't even attempt to warn their friend of the impending threat. They simply run away. As there's little information on this video, it's hard to tell just what it is we're seeing here. The figure looks distorted, almost as if it could be a reflection in a warped mirror. Take another look at the clip and let me know what you think's going on here. Is it a snippet from a movie or is it something a little more sinister? Let me know down below. <laughs> Thank you. 
If you love mysterious videos like this one, then check out our other content. There's an episode there. Otherwise, there's a ma So before he does his uh, corny thing, let's do one more. I believe the area is dangerous for women, children, and uninitiated Where men. It's forbidden to climb the rock. Seeing as we're all still stuck inside, we thought we'd put together a bit of bonus content for the week. It's a compilation of some of the scariest Oh, no, 43 minutes. Okay, I, I believe the area is dangerous for women, children. It turns the corner to investigate. Seeing as we're all still stuck inside, we thought we'd put together a bit of bonus content for the week. It's a compilation of some of the scariest ghost sightings we've ever seen. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. This creepy video was uploaded to Garment One's YouTube channel way back in July 2006. The footage, which was supposedly captured in a churchyard in the village of Eschelt, England, shows the very pale face of a young girl peering around the wall of the church. However, as the camera holder turns the corner to investigate, the mysterious girl has completely vanished. When this video first surfaced, it divided internet audiences. Some believed it to be genuine proof that there was indeed a ghost of a young girl haunting the churchyard. Others were more cautious, however, noting that the poor video quality might be hiding a cut in the footage, just before the camera holder turns the corner. Whether the video is genuine or a well-crafted hoax is still a topic of debate to this day. One thing is for certain, however, this video is sure to give you chills if you watch it all alone in the middle of the night. This bizarre video was uploaded to S. Koss's YouTube channel in December 2014. It appears to be an excerpt taken from a security camera captured in an unknown location. At first, several orb-like objects go speeding by the camera. And while these could easily be dismissed as insects, it's what the camera captures next that is truly strange. Several white figures begin running along the outside of the fence. Then suddenly, a few of the figures leap over the fence and land motionless on the ground. Some viewers have suggested that the strange shapes are actually deer. However, the way they land after jumping the fence seems to rule this theory out. They appear still and lifeless, almost as if they've deflated. Just when you think that the video couldn't get any weirder, a long trail of light appears at the top of the screen. Hmm. This is truly one of the more bizarre videos we've ever seen. Could it be possible that the mysterious white figures are ghosts or some other type of supernatural entities? If anyone can shed any light on this video, I'd love to hear what you think in the comments section below. Might be a goat. When goats freak out and faint. Family reunions are another great time to get pictures of the entire family posing happily together. Some old family photos show that even deceased relatives want to join in on the fun. This photo of a family reunion in New Zealand appears to have been taken sometime in the 1930s based on the style of the clothing. At first glance, it appears to be a typical photo of a family enjoying their day together. However, if you look closely at the middle of the back row, there appears to be a spirit posing along with the family. I can't tell. To make matters more intriguing, several members of the family who grew up in the house where the photo was taken claim to have seen this very spirit in the house often standing over their beds when they were children. They described her as wearing a white dress with a bodice and dark brooch. Her hair is always tied up in a bun. Many members of the family believe that she's an ancestor keeping watch over the children as they sleep. This photo was supposedly taken at an unnamed nursing home just minutes after one of the residents had passed away. According to the story, several staff members and residents heard the door to one of the rooms opening and closing, and the room's call light also kept mysteriously turning on and off despite the fact that there was no one inside. 
Many believe that this photo shows the ghost of the resident and that it was them opening and closing the door. Others think that the dark shadowy figure may actually be the Grim Reaper sent to collect the soul of the deceased. It's up to you to decide which story you believe, but either way it certainly makes for a very unsettling photo. St Mary's Guildhall in Warwickshire, England is notorious for eerie happenings and ghost sightings. And when this photo surfaced in 1985, people were shocked to see hard evidence of the paranormal. This photo was taken during a meeting of the Coventry Freemen's Guild. The scary thing okay, is, so. no one remembers the tall hooded figure that can be seen at the top left of the table. Over a dozen it's people that green. attended the meeting that day said they didn't see a robed monk during their opening prayer. Yet, very clearly, there's a ghostly presence at the head of the table. It's interesting to note that St Mary's Guildhall once held Mary, Queen of Scots prisoner, which many say is the reason the hall has such an ominous feeling about it. Within the enormous medieval complex is an area known as the Draper's Room. Visitors often report feelings of extreme sadness, anxiety and depression when they enter the room. Some have been known to burst into tears for no reason at all. Could this strange vintage ghost photo prove that this notorious guild hall is really haunted? In 2016, this video footage surfaced, reportedly shot at the school hospital Universitario in Honduras. It shows a ghost-like figure emerging from the door on the right-hand side of the corridor. The apparition seems to be aware of the camera person's presence, as it appears to look straight at them from the doorway. You're telling me it that then guy's hesitates not flinching. for a moment before walking right into the corridor. Naturally, the camera holder seems startled as they stumble backwards through a set of doors. Okay. Yeah, After the video was like released, rumours began circulating that it may actually be the ghost of a former doctor who had taken their own life. Many who work there believe that the doctor's ghost still haunts the hospital's hallways, with reports of lights mysteriously switching on and off in several of the patient's rooms. This is certainly a very striking clip, and if it's genuine, may well be some of the best ghost footage ever captured. No, that's crazy. On a sunny afternoon in the mid-1960s, the iconic Alberta steam train was gearing up for its last ever journey. Locals and journalists gathered round to see the grand old train leave the station one last time. And as they did, they took several photographs, one which would become famous for something a little more eerie than a retiring train. In the photo, you can see four men, including the driver, standing at the lead cart of the train. Mm. However, if you look in the right window, a face can be seen peering out. It looks to be an old lady wearing some kind of ornamental headdress. During its operation, many drivers said that the train was haunted. They claimed to have ploughed through strange misty figures on the tracks, only to find nothing there. Doors would open and close on their own, latches would lock and unlock. Eerie whispers were heard down empty carriages. One driver even said the train itself would behave erratically when passing over a bridge known for suicides. The train would speed up and slow down on its own, once the brakes cut out momentarily right as the train passed over the notorious bridge. Could this photo then really have captured the spirit of a restless soul that once haunted the old Alberta steam train? YouTuber Prosperous uploaded this clip to the site way back in June 2006. So this is from uh, the paran what, trans paranormal taps transatlantic paranormal society when they had their own show before Ghost Hunters became popular, became the number one show. Taps, no, oh, there goes that thing. Taps was the number one show at the time, and they're the ones who actually caught this uh, ghost in a penitentiary and kind of runs up and then runs away. So then they tested the theory out to see if a person could do it and nobody could do it as quickly as this apparition did. Thanks, and many believe it to be some of the strongest evidence of the existence of ghosts to date. The footage is said to have been captured by the Atlantic Paranormal Society. While they were investigating the Eastern State Penitentiary in Pennsylvania, a prison often thought to be haunted. Okay, so, so the Atlantic, not Transatlantic, <laughs> the Atlantic Paranormal Society, but it's TAPS, 
Um, I remember this vividly. Although the clip is brief, it does appear to show some sort of hooded figure walking towards the camera. It then looks as though the figure notices that it's being filmed and quickly moves away. As the Eastern State Penitentiary is often reported to be a hotbed for supernatural activity, many paranormal researchers believe that the figure seen in this video is indeed a ghost, and some have even likened its appearance to the Grim Reaper. So what do you think? Does this creepy clip actually show proof of a ghost roaming this haunted prison? Or is there another explanation for the mysterious figure? Love to get your thoughts on this one in the comments section below. It's my glasses. One of the best things about old family photos is that they capture important memories that can be cherished for generations to come. Such photos are wonderful ways to think about loved ones and remember the bond that you shared. In the case of Judy Herring, her family photo collection turned up something more hauntingly beautiful than she could ever have imagined. The photo is a portrait of her great-grandfather posing outdoors. However, a semi-translucent figure of a woman appears in front of him. Although the image is somewhat blurry, it's clear that the figure is an older woman with white hair, standing somewhat hunched over. According to Judy, the woman strongly resembles her great-grandmother who had already passed away. Some believe that this photo merely shows a light flare, but Judy is convinced that this is evidence of her great-grandparents' everlasting love, transcending even death. This clip from realghostvideos.net shows two young girls exploring a creepy old house. As they enter one of the rooms, both girls can be heard remarking how cold it feels inside. With only their flashlights to guide them, they begin to look around. As they search through the clutter, they discover what appears to be an old closet. One of the girls dares the other to open the door and take a look inside. Hesitantly, she decides to take a peek. There's a sudden flash of light and the two girls run screaming from the room. Shortly after, the video abruptly ends. If you slow the footage down just as she opens the door, you can actually see what scares them. A ghostly face with dark sunken eyes that almost looks as though it's shouting at the girls to leave. Uh, where? As little is known about this video, it's hard to know for sure what the girls actually saw. Could it have been the spirit of a former resident, or was it something else entirely? Whatever it was, it certainly didn't look friendly. Many think that this photo contains the spirit of a young girl who died in the Australian outback. In 1959, a priest from Adelaide, R.S. Blance, took this photo while exploring Corroboree Rock in Australia's Northern Territory. He claims that he was enjoying the scenery, taking photos, and didn't see anything out of the ordinary. That was until he got the photos developed and couldn't quite believe what he saw. There in one of the pictures is a young girl in a pale blue and white dress. She has a translucent quality and looks out of place in the rugged landscape. Corroboree Rock holds a spiritual significance for the indigenous communities that live in the area. The Arunda tribe believe the area is dangerous for women, children, and uninitiated men. It's forbidden to climb the rock itself. Has Blance accidentally captured a spirit that is somehow attached to Corroboree Rock? Is this young girl now forced to eternally wander the vast, empty landscape of the Northern Territory? This photo was taken in the Gravillia Wing of the Beechworth Lunatic Asylum in Victoria, Australia by ghost hunters Raylene Cable and Alan Tiller. They took the photo while investigating the grounds at Beechworth and believe that it shows the spirit of a young girl kneeling on the floor. The figure certainly does look like a child. It appears to be wearing a nightgown and looks as though it's holding something in its right hand, possibly a doll or teddy bear. I can't see all that. Beechworth Asylum was famous for its lax rules regarding institutionalization. With only two signatures, a person could be committed. Almost 10,000 people died in the building. Jeez. The patients often restrained and treated with electroshock therapy. 
Beechworth is reportedly haunted by the ghost of a young Jewish woman who was mysteriously thrown to her death from a window. Because of strict religious beliefs, her body lay decomposing on the oh ground for two God. days while a rabbi came from Melbourne to officially move the body. Several visitors claim they've seen a young girl under the window where the incident happened. Another traumatic tale is that of a missing patient who couldn't be found for weeks. Oh, Finally, his body was discovered by a local dog named Max near the gatehouse at the edge of the property. No, a search party was assembled to search the area and they eventually found the patient's body up a tree. Jeez. Since then, people have reported seeing a man wandering around the gatehouse at night. Countless other paranormal sightings have taken place at Beechworth Lunatic Asylum. Visions of doctors walking down dark hallways, screams, nurses kneeling by bedsides. One ghost hunter says a demonic voice told him to get out and leave the asylum. Is it possible that this photograph has captured the ghostly vision of one of the oh, former I patients of Beechworth? Could it be that the dark history of this property is so traumatic that the souls of employees and residents are forced to wander the grounds forever? Franco TV is a YouTuber who explores old abandoned buildings and locations that are thought to be haunted. In February 2019, he released this video in which he's exploring the Evergreen Cemetery in Jacksonville, Florida. The video begins as Franco TV is filming several eerie crypts lined along one of the cemetery's pathways. Suddenly, he hears a faint screeching noise shortly followed by a dull moaning sound. Something big. I actually saw this on Google Maps when I was seeing this place. After he's unable to see where the sounds were coming from, Franco TV makes his way towards a large mausoleum, somewhere in the center of the cemetery. Realizing that it has no door, he decides to go inside. He notices that one of the small compartments that lines the walls appears to have been kicked in. Suddenly, he hears a knocking sound that sounds as if it's coming from inside the tomb. He calls out, is there someone there? But no one answers. Is there someone there? As he pans around the room, the camera inadvertently captures a mysterious mist rising into the air, which is shortly followed by more knocking. Spooked, Franco TV decides to leave the mausoleum and continue his exploration of the cemetery. It's now dark outside and he needs to use a flashlight to see where he's going. He makes his way along another path lined with even more graves. The reflection of the flashlight against the headstones creates an eerie experience as he continues his search. Suddenly, he hears crying coming from up ahead, followed by the chilling sound of a children's music box. That would freak me out. Hesitantly, he searches for the source of the eerie sounds. Unable to locate them, Franco TV heads back towards the cemetery's entrance. On the way, he approaches the mausoleum and decides to take one final look. As he shines the no. flashlight towards the entrance, there appears to be a creepy face peeking out from around the corner. Oh, sad, the face slowly person. retracts as he continues closer. Franco TV calls out, but there's no answer. He shines his light inside the mausoleum, however, there's nothing oh there. God. If you zoom in on the footage, you can see that the face appears to be pale and withered like the face of an old man. Suddenly, the music box begins to play once again. Franco TV runs back to his car and heads for the exit. He drives around for several minutes before realizing that he's actually locked inside the cemetery. Having no other choice, he phones the caretaker who eventually sends someone down to open the gates. While Franco TV spends much of his time exploring creepy places, I'm sure that this was one haunted cemetery he couldn't wait to leave. It's like a black thing. When Guillermo Sosa took some snaps to sell his car, he wasn't expecting the terrifying image that would develop. In late 2015, Sosa took several photos of his white convertible, hoping to sell it online. When he reviewed the photos, his blood nearly ran cold when he noticed the creepy face in the left-hand side mirror. Oh, look at that. That's... In the photo, you that can see a pale feminine face peering into the mirror. 
it seems to be looking straight at the camera. Sosa was adamant that no one else was with him at the time he took the photos, and he certainly would have noticed someone sitting in the front seat of his car. Some skeptics have said the image is nothing more than pareidolia, a psychological phenomenon in which humans perceive familiar patterns from a stimulus, in this case a visual cue. It's possible that it's just the seat headrest reflected in the mirror. However, paranormal expert Gordon Rudder said the face is uncanny. He feels that a headrest doesn't look anything like a face even when reflected in a mirror, suggesting that this could indeed be something from the realm of the supernatural. I don't know about all Whatever that. Whatever the case may be, it certainly makes for a chilling image, one that seems to linger with you long after you've seen it. This spine-chilling photo first appeared on social media in 2014, oh, and since then has become rather well known. There are several stories of its origin, however the most common one is that a nurse in a hospital took a screenshot of a security camera that was monitoring patients in the ward. She claims that she saw a demon-like figure walking up and down the bed of one particular patient. It had long black legs and eerie slender fingers. When she went to the ward to check on the patient, there was no sign of the figure in the room. However, the patient's vitals began declining rapidly and the person passed away shortly after. While many believe the nurse's story to be true, several skeptics claim that the demon is nothing more than a series of objects that are coincidentally lined up, giving the effect of a lurking creature. What do you think? Could this photo actually be evidence of a demon collecting the souls of the sick and frail? Or is it nothing more than a mere coincidence? There's very little information available on this video. However, it appears that it could have been taken from a warehouse security camera. The clip begins as a man is seen carrying a ladder past the camera. He returns a short time later with a trolley and opens the sliding doors to the warehouse. He enters and soon emerges with something on top of the trolley. The man then attempts to close the warehouse doors, however he's unable to shut them completely. After several more unsuccessful attempts, the man decides to leave the doors ajar and pulls his trolley away. Suddenly a passing car's headlights shine across the warehouse doors, revealing for a split second that there's actually something stuck between them. That's crazy. <laughs> At first it appears to be That's a lifeless good human, effects. stooped over and wedged in place. However, if you slow the footage down, you can see that the figure is actually transparent and is only visible in the car's headlights. What do you think the mysterious figure could be? Is it the ghost of someone who was crushed between the heavy warehouse doors? Or is there another explanation for this creepy video? So I'm going to stop it right there. It's already going over an hour. <clears throat> um, so I wanted to get your guys' thoughts on what you think about some of these videos. Like I said, a lot of them are open to subject. I mean, subjection. I mean, uh, pareidolia, easily. I mean, you can, your mind can make up images out of something that is really irrelevant. And that's what I kind of see going on here. Um, but nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to go ahead and uh, upload a few more tonight. And uh, yeah, I'll be back shortly. So peace.